I want to talk to you about scalping the yard. Scalping the yard, what it is, is when you take the lawnmower down about a notch lower than you normally mow it and bag the clippings. A lot of people call that dethatching the yard. You cannot dethatch a St. Augustine lawn because it'll pull the runners up and rip your, your grass and really tear it up and it ends up being a nightmare. Could really kill the yard too if you do it. But uh, what I recommend do at the end of February, no later than the third, fourth week in March, if you got a good strong thick St. Augustine lawn during the fall and the winter and it's coming out of dormancy, right before the dormant season, I recommend take the mower down a notch lower than you normally mow it and bag the clippings. You can do this on Bermuda and St. Augustine yards, but don't mow it down to the dirt. That puts too much stress on it, but be sure you bag the clippings. What that does is that helps clean the lawn out, get it ready for the spring. Be sure after you mow it that low, you raise it back up to three to three and a half inches high the rest of the season. On a flat matted down lawn over here to my right, this lawn right here, you don't want to scalp this yard. It's flat, it's matted down like a herd of elephants been running on it. What you want to do here is you need growth here. You don't want to let it scalp it and take it down to the ground right now. You need this one to grow out. So what you do here is come spring, once it come, comes out of the dormant season, skip mowing for 30 days. Let it grow out, let it thicken up, and then when you do mow it, the longer you wait to mow this flat matted down lawn, when it comes out of dormancy, the thicker and healthier it's gonna look when you do. But I got a perfect scenario. I got a thick, healthy lawn right here to my left, and I got a flat matted down lawn right here to my right. But heed my uh, advice and you'll be all right.